check out some of these WebGL effects. Now, one might assume it would require a lot of JavaScript and shader knowledge. It would take many lines of complex code to achieve these types of interactive WebGL demos. Well, that's no longer the case as there's a new tool called Unicorn Studio, which allows you to seamlessly craft awesome examples just like these within their no-code editor. Now, this is huge because it allows designers to be designers without having to worry about advanced coding. Now, while they're currently in closed beta, I was told by the founder that this tool should be available as a public beta in January. Now, here's a time lapse of me using this tool so that you can get a rough idea of how it operates. It uses a traditional layer based system that allows you to choose from a large array of customizable shaders and effects. Having played with this for the first time last week, it became very obvious that you no longer have to spend time learning shader language such as GLSL to achieve these types of effects. It's super fun experimenting with all the various effects and how they interact with each other, especially if you apply blend modes. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Great, now everyone's going to abuse this. Well, of course, that's typically how things work when you make things way easier to implement. But that shouldn't be a knock against the tool itself. Remember, you as a designer still have to use your judgment on when and how and why and where to integrate these types of effects. Now, once you're finished with your design, you can easily import it into your web page as a canvas element, just like Rive. And then you can position and integrate it as needed with CSS. Now, when this tool releases into public beta in January, you can definitely expect a proper crash course. But for now, you could visit unicorn.studio and enter your email to be notified to be added to the waitlist. So what do you all think? I'm super excited myself, especially with all the stuff coming out with Rive. I think here in 2025 coming up, we're going to see a whole new paradigm for how we tackle creative projects.